I have my notes. Right, tonight we're going to be talking about values. Hello, Instagram family. I haven't seen you guys live in forever, so I decided to go live. So I'll be shifting back and forth between both cameras. I'll be going live on my Facebook um, as well as Instagram. So what's going on? If you are just joining me, um, go ahead and hit the share button. I guess there's a share button for um, <laughs> for Instagram. I'm not really sure, but if there is, go ahead and hit the share button and we're going to get right to it. Um, hey, Dina, how are you, girl? We're talking about values today. So if you're just joining me, go ahead and hit the share button. We're going to be talking about living your values, and this is going to be a short one, but a goodie. Um, and of course, I have my notes so that I can be on time, on target, and on task. Um, and so Instagram family, if I, I haven't seen you guys in so long live. So like, come on, share this message. This is awesome. Um, it is Tuesday. We are in day like, what, 40 something of the quarantine. And I started thinking that some of us are getting a little loopy and some of us are losing it a little bit. Oh, you like my shirt, husband? <laughs> My husband said he likes my shirt, PPYQ, push past your quit. Okay, so that's what we're definitely all doing right now. We're definitely pushing past our quit because we're ready to quit this quarantine. We're ready to quit a whole bunch of things right now. And so that's why I wanted to address you tonight. I wanted to come to you live um, to help you kind of reassess, reevaluate, and kind of resituate some things. Hey, Nicole, make sure you guys are hitting the share button. Hit the share button. So we're going to be talking about values. And when you think about values, you know, it's a word that we sometimes throw around it's one of those terms that um depending upon how you were raised um you know you come with a different set of values a different set, set of belief systems and so for the sake of this conversation um i'm going to give some example of what values are in addition to what we can do to reassess our values so again i'll be looking back and forth because <laughs> I am going live on Instagram and Facebook, okay? So when you're talking about values for the sake of this conversation, we're going to define values as your standard of living, like the things that you value and hold um, near and dear to your heart, those things that drive and motivate you. What are your values? Okay, so your values, we're going to give, I'm going to give you three points, and then I'll give you an activity that you could do to kind of realign yourself with your values. So the first thing is, um, in order to live your values, you have to know what your values are, obviously. And we um, and this is important because we need to understand exactly why we do what we do and what motivates us. So your belief system, your values help you stay motivated. And in this time and in this season, everybody can use a little extra dose of motivation, a little extra dose of push um, and a little extra dose of, of focus. Right. And so if you go back to your values, like what are some things that you hold as a standard of living, that thing will help you to kind of reassess yourself and reassess where you are and some things that you could do right now, even though we're still still staying at home. Well, some of us are, I know in some states we are already, the outside has opened up, right? But even still, we need to kind of realign ourselves with our values, okay? Then the other thing is when we build our lives around our values, we create a life that is meaningful, so right now we're all trying to figure out like what is life going to be after this quarantine is over? What is life going to be for those of us who are now free in an instance, right? Some of us who outside has opened up some locations, some stores, some cities have now opened back up. What is life like now? So we need to understand um, how to create a life that's meaningful now, right? And then finally, we, we need to align our actions with our values. So we say that we have values, but then our actions are not in alignment with what you say you believe in. So that's definitely a contradiction, which is probably why we're not getting the results that we want in our life, because our belief systems are not in alignment with our value systems, with, which is not in alignment with our actions. OK, hey, Jackie, I see you. How are you? Thanks for joining me, okay? And so living your values could be the single most important thing any of us can do right now because it'll help us kind of put on our lasers um, and remain focused, right? Or get refocused. So let's go over a list of, of a couple values that you could use in your life because some of us say we have values, but I don't know that we do or we fully understand what a value is. So for example, um, you may believe in achievement, you may hold achievement near and dear, authority, autonomy. Um, some of us is compassion. Some of us is leadership. For some of us is determination, family, um, growth, happiness, uh, positive mindset, humor, um, influence, inner harmony, justice, right? 
learning is a value of yours. Um, meaningful work, being open and carefree, having peace, being optimistic. Those are all things that you probably value in your life. But the question you must ask yourself is this. Is what you're doing in your life right now in alignment with what you value? So if you value family, right, for example, what are some things you're doing to cultivate a healthy family dynamic or a healthy family relationship, right? Not just necessarily your immediate family, but family in general, okay? If you value leadership, what are some things you're doing to strengthen yourself, right, as a leader? Because everybody's a leader, right? Everything rises and falls on leadership. That's what my mentor, John Maxwell, says, right? So... If that's the case, then what are you doing to um, improve upon your leadership and strengthen your leadership? Okay, so those are just some examples. Now, what are some things that you can actually do to kind of reassess? So here's an activity you can do, and I'm going to keep this one today short and sweet, but here's an activity. The first thing I want you to do is actually list out all of your values. Make a list. You could do this on a piece of paper, on the back of an envelope. Y'all know how we do. We grab an envelope from our mail. <laughs> We grab some um, envelopes from off the mail stack off our desk, off our kitchen counter, and we start writing on it. So grab a piece of paper, get your journal, get a notebook, whatever it is, get something to write on. I don't care if it's your kids' construction paper, okay? Get some paper and write it down. Hey, sis, I said, yes, girl, I'm in my push bash or quit gear today. Hey, angel. So write down all your values. I can't tell you what they are, but if you need some help establishing some values, let me know. That's another live. That's another private conversation, okay? But right now, I want you to just write down and start thinking about what do you value, okay? Then after you've done that, I want you to actually give each one of your values a score. So you're going to be a teacher. I know we've been doing a lot of homeschooling. <laughs> so I want you to give yourself a rating, okay? Not just a score, but I want you to literally write down on a scale of one to 10, okay? A scale of one to 10, where actually zero to 10. Zero means you are not doing anything and 10 means you are actually maximizing this value in your life, okay? So what you're going to do is for this, you're going to write down the values and then you're going to give them a score, as to how well you're actually living out the value in your life, okay? Not just the level of importance, because once you write it down and you score it, we'll actually see, you'll be able to see what's really important in your life. We might say that honesty is important, but you're a liar and you lie all day long. <laughs> that ain't gonna work, right? You might say that your family is important, but you do everything uh, before your family. You put everything before your family. You may say that um, um, learning is a, as a, you hold that at a high regard for yourself, right? But then you find yourself, you've not picked that up a book, you've not attended a seminar, you've not attended a webinar, anything, right? So how can learning actually be a core value for you, right? So you're going to make a list of all your values. Then you're going to score yourself as to how well you're actually living out the values. Zero being, I'm not doing it at all. And 10 being, yes, I do this on a regular basis, every day, all day long, okay? And if you're just joining me, go ahead and hit the share button. Thank you for joining me. My name is Dez of Dez360, okay? We're going to keep this going. So after you do that, the next thing I want you to do is to look at your score system. Anything that has been scored a seven or higher, Good job. Congratulations. You are on task and on target. You are in alignment with what it is that you say that you are. You say that you are a person of uh, value. You hold your core values in a high regard. If you have scored yourself a seven or above in any area, perfect. You don't have to do anything with those. Keep being great. Okay. Now, for those things that score below seven, so six and below, I want you to then think about those things and ask yourself a few questions. And tonight I'm going to actually give you these self-reflective questions that you can ask yourself. Okay? I want you to ask yourself how you could be more uh, how you could be more intentional. Okay? So let me give you an example. Say if creativity was something that you said you value. So if you scored a three in creativity, I want you to ask yourself how you could be more creative during this time. Maybe you start a podcast, write a book. You do something with your kids, help them build a business. Maybe you help them um, with a writing project. Maybe you help them do a project for school because everything is online, so you have to help them, okay? Um, maybe you start writing out a movie that a movie script. I don't know, but you're going to do something that's going to help you to be creative, right? Because you said that you value creativity. So during this time, that's exactly what I want you to do. Now, um, in addition to that, after you have listed and ranked all of your values, okay, Again, if you're just joining me, you're raking your value system. You're going to uh, score yourself from zero to 10. Zero being you are not doing anything. And 10, you are doing everything possible every day to live up to those values. Now, here's some self-reflective questions. How can I be more intentional? 
Why am I not following these values that I hold dear to me? What's stopping you from doing that, okay? And then the last thing I want you to think about, what changes do you need to make in order to make sure that you are following these values? Do the values affect other people around you? Because, for example, I keep going back to family because that's something that I value, right? So if I am doing something that is in opposition to my family thriving, then what's, what's stopping me? What's interfering with that? Is it a mindset? Is it a mentality? Is it something physical in front of you? Are you overwhelmed with work? Are you overwhelmed with, you know, something else that's happening? Are you overwhelmed with COVID-19? You're consumed, so now you're letting other things kind of fall by the wayside. So these are things that you need to do. These are some self-reflective questions I've given you so that you can kind of reevaluate yourself um, and, and re-establish um, your values in your life. Now, it's not the end of the world if you find that, oh my God, something that I really value, I don't even do. I don't, I'm on a number four, right? When I should be at least a seven. It's okay. Just start doing it today. It's not too late. You have time. And that's why I wanted to come to you today because now is the best time. We're quarantined. We have limited outside time. And now is the best time to reestablish your goals and reestablish your values, okay? So I see some things in the comments. Anything less than six or less, ask yourself what you can do to do. Yes, those are exactly the steps, Angel. Thank you for typing that. My husband, family first, absolutely. It's kind of like that's the first thing and then we figure out the rest, right? So um, this was a short and sweet one. I wanted to make sure I stay within the time frame because I'm also going live on Instagram today and I forget how long you can go live on there because I haven't done it in so long. But again, this is all about values, living out your values. This is the perfect time to live out your values. And your values are simply those things that you hold in high regard. That is your standard of living. And if you are out of alignment with what you have established for yourself as your standard of living, Ask yourself, are these really my values? Are these the values of my parents that I've now adapted, right? That I just took on even though they mean nothing to me? You know what? Ask yourself, where do these values come from? And reestablish some values. If there are some things that you know that you uh, have not been doing and that you know that you prefer to do, start figuring out how to get it done. Start figuring it out. You start off with your list of values. You're going to rate them from 0 to 10. Anything that is rated um, below seven so six and below you're going to figure out what the problem is why am i out of alignment why am i not living up to the values that i've set before myself okay so guys this is des of des 360 another transformation tuesday i hope that it was something that i said to add value to your life for the rest of this week um until next time i'll see you here same time well you know my time always fluctuates y'all know this is a real life i'm living over here i have a house full of children <laughs> Okay, and so I try to be consistent with at least going live on Tuesday. That was one of the things that I um, set out, set forth as a goal for this year for myself. So I am here every Tuesday, but I can't guarantee a time. Not yet. I'm working on it. Okay, I'm working on it. Fingers crossed. Okay, so go ahead and uh, make sure you share this. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Des360, and follow me on all social media networks, Des360. Um, if you've missed any other transformation tips, they're all on YouTube and they're on Facebook. Now, there are some on Instagram. But Instagram likes to cut my videos short. So for four videos, I would suggest you go to my Facebook page, Des360, or to YouTube. I pray that you guys have another safe week. I pray that you are prosperous this week and that you reestablish your values and you start living up to the values that you've set before yourself. Have an amazing week. Don't forget, push past your quick, guys. we got to keep pushing. Stay safe. Bye-bye.